Checking out my videos that haven't decided to go through priming to get your commercial driver license or in case CDL. Well, you're tripping, man. It's time to change your life for real, man. I advise anybody to go get their CDL if they're working at a local boring nine to five. I don't knock them, but I'm telling you, it's a great idea. It'll change you financially, man. Come get your CDL. Also, if you use Prom Inc. To get your commercial driver license, use my driver code. I'm going to place it here. It's going to be in the comments. It's going to be everywhere from now on because a lot of people keep hitting me up, asking me. So, y'all know why I'm here. And if you don't use it, I'm going to find you. Don't let me find you. So, again, man, y'all enjoy the video, man. I'm clocking out. And we are lit. So, y'all, I've been getting a lot of questions on... Uh, anyways, what's up, gang? My fault. Y'all know how I start off. What's up, gang? Welcome back to the uh, to the channel with another video. I've been getting a lot of DMs stating on how is is getting the CDL difficult, like as in the test. I really didn't talk much about how the test really works. So, uh, well, this is for Prime Inc. This is not for any other place. I don't condone none of that. This is how it went through Prime, like uh, what I know in total. So, first of all, if you go through Prime. Of course, you're gonna do your hands-on training like I talked about in my previous video, uh, the training video. So, if you feel like you're not getting that much of a good trainer to study, don't hesitate to DM me, y'all. Like, let me know in the comments. I'll help you out, give you any pointers, but the most you can do is really, is really, it's really gonna be up to yourself. Uh, your trainer should be on your head about the pre-trip inspection. So, yeah, that's how, that's how it usually works, y'all. So. First, the first part is the pre-trip inspection. That's probably, <laughs> to me, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Like, I was like, y'all, I was like, dang, they just gave me this packet, this packet is thick, and it got all these, you know, all these words, and all these, probably not as secure, no leaks, all that, you know what I'm saying? So, most of the time, that's all you gotta say. You're gonna, it's gonna become repetitive to you guys. I promise, like, I was told the same thing, and, I just want y'all, I don't want you going there worrying, like, it's going to be so hard. You're just going to be repeating it, mostly, every hour. Just do that, and it's going to be coming in your head once the test come up. So, uh, I usually say in a total, you have nine chances, y'all. Like, basically, you get nine, you get three chances per portion. So, with the uh, with the uh, pre-trip, if you fail, you still get two more chances. If it is, you automatically just, you won't qualify to get CDL. I think you can't try again for another six months or a year i don't know i think it was like that so each portion you get three chances so that's a total of nine chances y'all you have no excuse but to pass they giving you all these all these chances if you don't pass it that's on you you're not studying hard enough or you too you're too scared you're too nervous and this is not for you so uh next would be the parking <laughs> the parking uh is very very understandable because you're going by cones you're not going by like you know live action on the road you're backing into cones so put it like this your trainer's going to tell you uh all right turn the wheel until you see the first cone and then he's going to say turn the wheel until you see the second cone it's so easy it's offset right offset left straight back straight back uh it's very simple uh and alley dock alley dock is probably the most difficult one but if you practice with your trainer, you should understand it most. And then the last one is the, <clears throat> what is it? Oh, the driving portion. The driving portion is very easy. Uh, as long as you've been driving, you're gonna go out driving with your trainer for about two to three weeks. So you're gonna get enough driving to understand how to turn, how to, you know what I'm saying? How to pull into certain stuff, how wide to turn on certain corners. So, uh, and make sure you're checking your signs because they will ask you during the test. Uh, what signs to take and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, man, all the signs, literally y'all, the weight, the everything, the height, all that. Uh, they go so, like, if you take the test there, I'm pretty sure they're taking you all type of different routes. So, also with uh, the pre-trip part, y'all, I forgot to mention this when I was talking about pre-trip. The pre-trip inspection, uh, you can miss some. Y'all, I missed the whole lights because I didn't tell my instructor to come uh, to come here uh, 
why I say my lights. So I missed the whole lights portion and I still passed. Everything else was good. I got the whole thing. Also, yeah, back uh, with the pre with the pre trip, you get like you might get the whole thing. You might just get air break, like you might just get certain portions. Sometimes it's just it's just depending on the test that you get. Uh, and with the backing, you're only gonna do either parallel or alley dock, but you're definitely gonna do offset and straight back. All right, so just know that. I just don't want y'all to go in there being so difficult because people could be telling you different things and you know, I want to explain that part, just taking the test in general. If you do pass the test the first time, I think you get, it's called a trifecta. You get some type of reward. I can't remember how much it is. I think like $200, $300. I really can't remember, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, man, that's all I really wanted to talk about much. Uh, I'm driving to Houston, Texas. I'm going to take a, a 34 reset here and hang out with my cousin and stuff. So I will be uh, posting, posting more about that. And I'm also going to show y'all uh, how I work out. So what I do is... I stop at a, uh, I call, usually sometimes I call, or I just ask when I get there, I'm stopping at a Love's today, around afternoon, because I only have like seven hours on my drive time, so I'm just gonna just drive this time out, and it was a Love, so I saw, actually in El, um, El Paso, Texas, I think that's, or is it New Mexico, I can't remember, it's Texas, New Mexico, uh, Horizon City, there's an Anytime Fitness there, and I have, have um, so, have, happen to have that membership, so, uh, I'm either gonna bobtail the Uber. It was one close. I, I try my I try my best to bobtail. I drop my trailer. I ask the people at the Loves, but most of the time that's what I do, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do that in the next footage. And man, I hope y'all had a uh, a, ble a first a blessed first week of this new year, man. New year, new things, man. Don't be the same. You do something different this year, man. Grind out. I hope it happen. I hope you guys are getting your CDL, man, especially if you don't really know what you want to do. CDL is always just money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, uh, thank you for pitching in, watching my videos, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Let me know in the comments if y'all want more videos of me just driving, talking like this. And I just need y'all to drop the topics so I can know what to talk about in the next video. But here is how I get to the gym, you guys. As y'all can see, man, uh, traffic slowed up. It was a big accident right here. If you look on the left, you can see that truck flipped over. Uh, I am on the way to like my last stop, so I can go to the gym. I'm still gonna show y'all. But I just seen this on the road, so I decided to start my camera. Let's see if I can get it over there. Y'all see it? That's why it's, this this isn't. You have to be safe at all times. I don't know the cause. I hope the trucker is fine uh, and healthy because uh, that truck is very much flipped over continue to you know man I just wanted to stuff like that stuff like that can scare me and that truck is very bad y'all so uh, all truck drivers seem to be safe watch his speed going down hills on ramps all that and you can see this wasn't even on the hill this is just on the straightaway so who knows the cause of what happened? Uh, I wish, I hope that Tucker is just fine. Man. I just wanted to show y'all this. I'm like 30 minutes away from my stop for the day, and I'm ahead to the gym. So see y'all in a second. Hey, what up, gang? Y'all see I'm at uh, I'm at a petrol right now. I know petrol uh, usually they um, let you drop trailers because that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna drop this trailer and go to the gym. It's like two miles away. It's either that or I take an Uber. It's just depending on what the people say inside. I already see some trailers drop. I'm not gonna be gone that long, maybe two hours to three hours at most. So I'm gonna head out and I'm gonna go to the gym, y'all. Y'all see where I'm at? Find a little good parking spot and I'll let y'all know when I pull up to the gym. See, we here, park my truck here. The gym is like right over here. So you don't walk over there, man. You know, sometimes you just gotta make things work. Got my AP on, so when I come back in there, it'll be all ready. But yeah, man, just wanted to show y'all that. So yeah, how easy it can be. Drop my trailer. You ain't gonna be going that long. Y'all see it down there? Yep, y'all see the little fitness dude? Yeah, man, the wind probably fucking it up. So I catch y'all later. Let's see what time it is, man. Just another, just another clip of it. Let's see how much I weigh. 
Oh, that truck away. <laughs> but all right, man, I catch up. Just like that, y'all. We done a little two hour workout. What I do, I had jog for two minutes, two miles on the treadmill just to get some, you know, make sure I'm still in shape that way. Long walk, straight jog, two miles. Uh, then I did, like, I used, since I barely get there to the gym, I, uh, I really like, so the gym I applied at, y'all, Anytime fitness, you had to wait a month. I just got the membership last 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 month. You have to wait a month before you can go into all gyms. So I only can went to the gym that I applied at. So now I can really start going more. Otherwise, I just use these weights that's in my truck if I can't. So for now on, I'm probably gonna start going more because it's been a month and my key pass work. So I'm just letting y'all know, man. That's um the general thing. I get a lot of comments saying, "Hey, how do you?" How often do you work out? What's your plan? So I chose Anytime Fitness. I chose like the two year plan. It's like $39.99 a month. Um, I got to ask my accountant if I could write this off my taxes. I doubt it. But anyways, yeah, man, that's how I did it. And I'm going to end the video right here, man. I'm headed to Houston for a little vacation for a couple of days. And I'll catch y'all on the next video, man. Just like I said, y'all, I told y'all about the test. I told y'all uh, how do I go to the gym? I just showed y'all. Now I'm gonna go back to my trailer, back in, shower, and lay down. I'm only like 700 miles from the uh, from my 90. 90 is uh, my last stop. Pull my voice out. Anyways, yeah, man. Like I said, I don't gotta be there until the 11th, it's the 8th. So I'm really ahead of time. Probably gonna go to the gym again, probably in the morning, might come back to this one. Who knows, man, but again, man, I want y'all to do a favor, like, comment, subscribe. I feel like my voice is out. I was, <laughs> y'all don't even want to know. But yeah, man, y'all have a blessed night, blessed day. Good morning, good night, good afternoon. Uh, start the day off right, start the year off right. Uh, hit me up for any DMs for, you know, if you need my referral, if you need any pointers, any more questions I need to attach to. And I'll try my best to get back to it. Otherwise, man, like, comment, subscribe. I promise y'all, y'all won't regret it. I show love, you show love, that's how we doing it. Catch y'all on the next video.